with a new addition to the neighborhood. State and Main just opened down the street, the corner of 5th and 8th Avenue. Jo uh, Jordan Wapple is State and Main's research and development manager, which is such a cool handle. He is joining <laughs> us this morning with one of their made from scratch recipes. I know you have to get started right yeah. away, um, but what are you uh, putting together for Today us this morning? Today we're making our Dragon Boat lettuce wraps. This is one of our definitely uh, fan favorites. Mm -hmm. um, it starts with some canola oil in the pan, some chili garlic sauce, and a little bit of minced ginger. Then I'm going to add some chicken, yeah. some red peppers, some mushrooms, and some red cabbage. Yum. A lot some of stuff. Some red onions and carrots. You could really use anything you have left in your fridge if you're making mm -hmm. this at home. It's definitely a great leftover killer. Um, like, uh, like I said, the chicken is already cooked, so all we're really doing here is heating this up, right. um, the veg and the chicken, and then I'm going to add my sauce. Okay, what, what are you using for sauce? So my sauce is a hoisin peanut sauce. This yeah. is a sauce we make in-house. Yeah. It's really easy to make at home. It's just peanut butter, soy sauce, rice wine vinegar, and lime juice. Delicious. Um, yeah, super simple. Okay, so we're throwing that in. So I'll let you get to that. Um, can I ask you about State of Maine? You, you told me you have 10 locations across the country. We do. We have uh, one in Lethbridge, two in Calgary now, one in Edmonton, one in Spruce Grove, one in Red Deer, uh, one in Winnipeg, and two in Ontario, in Aurora, and Guelph. So what's uh, the state and main kind of food philosophy? Uh, the food philosophy is definitely comfort food, uh, scratch made. Mm -hmm. And we also have some street inspired classics like the gogi tacos are my personal favorite. If you ever go visit, make sure you try those. Okay, so throwing that together. I uh, also want to take a look at, at some of the stuff um, that Jordan has brought in for us. This is the bang bang shrimp. This is a fan favorite, right? Definitely. It's become an overnight success, really. Uh, we've launched it on the menu. Uh, maybe six months ago and since then it's just taken off and it's been definitely our number one selling appetizer. Um, we also have our main burger here so yep. if you visit the state in Maine you gotta try the burger. Uh, that's a hundred percent chuck and brisket burger um, and on the side here we have just our mixed greens and a jalapeno cheddar cornbread which is one of my personal favorites. And of course it is a fully licensed establishment and so no meal would be complete without a beverage of choice. It's a little early but they're here <laughs> just in case. You know what we've been up for so long it's like dinner time for us. Um, how long do you have to cook that uh, with the sauce? So all I'm doing is heating up my sauce. And yep. now that the sauce is kind of bubbling and hot, mm -hmm. I'm going to actually add some fresh chopped cilantro. Okay. I'm actually going to kill my heat at this point. I'm going to add uh, some cashews, some farquet noodles. Now the reason I've killed my heat is because I don't want to cook my farquet noodles. Okay. That's going to provide, provide the crunch in the dish. Right. Um, and also, I don't want to... Uh, I don't want to cook the cilantro as it'll lose a little bit of flavor if it right. cooks. Okay, so I'm just going to mix this up in the pan. And once that's mixed, I'm going to bring it over to my bowl here. Mm -hmm. Here, maybe I should uh, move the wine out of the way. Just yeah, sure. <laughs> Thanks. I mean, that's right teamwork here. right there. That's fine. That's okay, right? That looks so good. Yeah, so I'm going to put this just right into the bowl, and then I'm going to garnish it with some sesame seeds Perfect. right on top. Okay, and then right onto the plate. Ah, and then it's up to you to uh, to do it yourself. Right? Yeah, that's right. So just spoon it into the. Yeah, I'll, sh I'll give you. Okay, I'll show you it. here. Why not? I'll, I'll move take this a, one too. Take a small lettuce just leaf because. and just simply spoon it in, and it makes a little dragon boat, or almost like a little uh, stir-fried taco. I'll take that off your hands. Why not? I won't bite into it. In Not front yet. of everybody because it could be a mess. <laughs> uh, before we let you go, what is, does a, a research and a development manager do? Uh, there's a lot of things I do in my job, but one of the funnest, the one of the funnest parts about it is I get to be part of the team that writes menu items like the bang bang shrimp and the lettuce wraps. A lot of fun. We are looking forward to our staff field trip, which we have to uh, schedule. That's State right. State in Maine, just around the corner, fifth and eighth. Uh, more information at breakfasttelevision.ca. Really nice to meet you. Thanks for coming in. Thank you very much, Sarah. Okay. I'll